The most fascinating feature of the Staria, Hyundai Motor's latest interpretation of a minivan, is its exterior design. Of course, there have been many other upgrades, but nothing beats how radical of a design transformation this car went through on the outside. The Korea Jungang Daily recently got a chance to see the vehicle in real life and ride in the back seat of it, and were actually surprised at how it exactly resembled the photos that many people thought were of a concept car. We were allotted with the 7-seater Staria Lounge, which is a premium version of the basic Staria. Hands down, the exterior design was top-notch. The minimalistic curves and lines gave the vehicle a spaceship-like appearance. The slim horizontal LED headlamp that crosses the hood plays a decisive role in forming the look, making it seem like the vehicle is wearing a Matrix-inspired sunglasses. The cube-shaped turn signals underneath, comprised of four squares on each side, add to the futuristic demeanor. The frameless mesh grille blends in with the rest of the frontal look to add to the sleek vibe. Inside, the vehicle instantly feels spacious thanks to these large windows on the side and also on the top. Motivated by what Hyundai Motor calls an inside-out concept, the line of the windows has been significantly lowered, contributing to the panoramic frontal view. Even riding in the back seat, the near panoramic view and the two windows on the top create a wide and open view making a two-hour trip ever more enjoyable. A minivan, especially the Starrax, usually accompanied an unsophisticated image, but this vehicle came with a pretty high-tech 10.25-inch digital cluster behind the steering wheel and another 10.25-inch infotainment screen in the center, which comes together with the air conditioner buttons and other ventilation options underneath. Even this gear shift looked trendy. Every nook and cranny of the vehicle contains storage spaces, either for stuff or for coffee cups. There are storage spaces on the inside of the door, of course, on the dashboard, and at the bottom of the center fascia. Also, the center console, which comes with two cup holders, can be used as something of a table when the lid is closed, and has a whole lot of space underneath to organize stuff. The highlight of the vehicle is how comfortable the passengers in the back seat are. It has a maximum 1379mm of indoor height, which means that small kids can just hop in the vehicle without ever having to hunch their head or back. With the push of a button, this premier relaxation seat reclines on its own up to the point that the passenger can almost lie flat. The wing-type extremely soft cushion on the headrest makes the reclining position ever more comfortable. One thing that falls short of expectations is the surprisingly analog and stiff window in the back seat, which took a bit of work to get it opened. The plastic handle also didn't go in line with the sophisticated look the Staria is going for. What we had was a 7-seater, but the 9-seater Staria Lounge has an additional function called swiveling seats, where the second row seats can be swivel 180 degrees to face the third row passengers. If going backward doesn't give you car sickness and local laws allow it, traveling this way could make communication within the vehicle much more convenient. Hyundai Motor also gave a sneak peek into its yet-to-launch Staria limousine, which has a high roof and a moving center console, something we've seen in the Ionic 5 for a more convenient in-car travel experience. The carmaker also plans to release a fuel cell electric version of the Staria in the latter half of 2023, followed by a hybrid model as well. The Staria definitely offers a lot more than just getting lots of stuff from point A to B. The model will definitely appeal to family unit customers who have more than two children or who like traveling and camping domestically, which is increasingly gaining popularity these days.